Industrial tasks don't allow you to be distracted. Silicon, the main element in solar energy and computer technology. But how to get silicon in large quantities? Victor Petrik knows the answer to this question. There are two issues, energy and chlorine pollution, necessary for obtaining pure silicon. Victor agreed to both. Silicon is needed in many different fields of engineering, electronics, and solar space. I first created the technology of growing single crystal silicon directly from the gas phase. This is my first, which will be stored forever. This is my first monocrystal, which is obtained from the force of piles of raw material production of fertilizer. I saw the future in the following way. Now we know. Modern glass coated with nickel and cobalt that enable us to reduce the amount of heat coming into our buildings. Exactly in this way will glass be used. They will be covered with a layer of superfine silicon and we will get electricity directly from this drain. Today's modern buildings are 80% glass. So here, from single crystals of silicon, which were at the lab setup and which passed the test today in the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna. For the first time, detectors were received. They are absolutely unique. This monocrystal is very unique. At first, it caused extreme surprise. One layer is ideal. The second is absolutely not working. Here are the installation. This is the first industrial plant. There will be crystals with a diameter up to 200 millimeters. And now I'm already creating an industrial machine for the first time in the world that gets silicone by means of the gas method. And most of this technology does not require the most environmentally dangerous part, which is called chlorination. Everything is connected with everything. Everything affects everything. That is the law of the universe, allowing Viktor Ivanovich to move from problem to problem as far as they are together. Not many people know that a significant amount of rare metals, the platinum group metals, in which the industry needs, is not extracted from the fields but from the waste of metallurgical production. To date, the selection and separation of rare metals such as rhodium, osmium, gold, platinum, palladium is extremely labor-intensive. Consider, to single out, separate and purify these metals, the original raw materials must pass 96 stages of labor-expensive and environmentally harmful processes. Victor Petrik received extra metals in one step. This ore contains nearly the entire system of Mendeleev. It is produced in the world-renowned mill Norris Nickel. Victor Petrik can extract from this ore platinum, osmium, and palladium. A few years ago, at the lab setup in the presence of the commission, which was the general director Norix Nickel, Hagaziev, director of the Institute of Forensic Sciences of Russia's FSB, Fizienka, head of the analytical center of the FSB, Kharkov. Here, the concentrates from Norix Nickel within a few minutes received 32 grams platinum and 18 grams of palladium. Iridium was obtained, as was osmium, at the end. It took half an hour. Drawing, and we've created the documentation for future machines. But big global changes have taken place in Norris Nickel. Norris Nickel has changed much in their technology and forgot about me. On this day, I believe that a very progressive man has returned to this technology and we have established a memorandum of the world's first industrial plant for extraction and separation of platinum group metals, which in itself implies a new era of technology. Further, 
As I have said along with nanopowders, there is also the possibility of different coatings, which were previously inaccessible with existing technologies. Anatoly Fizenka very gloomily told me, Professor, you have with this invention grossly violated the second law of the KGB. I got the chills even though I understood that this was a joke. I said, and what is the second law of the KGB? He said, the second law of the KGB is, the more active the element, the less often it occurs in a free state. And then he said, we felt that in order to know all the features that you know, the vapor pressure, temperature, and so on, it would take a single institute 60 years of hard work. Where did you learn all this? I was bursting with pride and said, yes, with this invention, I have defined science for the next 20 years. Alexander Ivanovich Lebed, with his roaring voice, said, another person also said that and received as much. Here is the ore, which contains platinum group metals, and I let out my gas, which takes only... How this is done is not very easy to understand. Victor Petrick's results are such that people refuse to believe them, and then he shows samples of metals which are obtained from his metals. The experiment was very clean. The fact that it needs to be split now has been done specifically. I would have given you with pleasure the whole so that you would take it to Spain, but you will not be allowed to do so. Here is a metal deposited into its pieces. We'll give you a very small amount for analysis to ensure that we do not have to draw up special documents. This is in one place. Here, I will now show you. There should be here large pieces of metal. Here they are. That's it. Let's close it. Professor, analyze and let us know the results. You received in your hands the result of very high technology. All your discoveries are invaluable to humanity and constitute a remarkable part of your scientific work, which you are carrying out now. Twenty-four hours per day. When does he manage to do all of this? I use methods that are now used for a special kind of training that allows a person to be in a certain state. Forty minutes in this state equals almost four hours of natural sleep. This allows me, when there is a lot of high pressure and demand, to be able to sleep for only a few hours per night for many days in a row and still feel great. The studies of brain physiology and mythology are well known. The brain does not sleep. When our center is asleep, our silly body, although without the body, the brain would be even more foolish than its boss. It is very easy to implement any agreement with you. So, at your disposal is a gigantic computer with unbelievable opportunities. We must learn to use and cooperate with it. The most critical problem today is how to safely store hydrogen on board a vehicle. And on that subject, scientists are working night and day all over the world. This cylinder contains nanocarbon structures which are covered with palinodes by means of my gas phase technology. The Japanese know how to keep 1.8% of hydrogen. American scientists have created 2.8%. This here substance keeps 4.6% of hydrogen. Six is the amount required. I am close. We create pressure and the hydrogen completely passes through. How can there be such a molecule? Here is an atom and here also is an atom. If we draw a molecule of hydrogen and an atom here is not a little. And here the second atom and the molecule are here. I'm pouring two volumes of liquid hydrogen into one. 
Мы счастливы, что приехали в Россию. От драгоценных When I was a student at the Department of Psychology, very close, within 10 minutes from me, an outstanding sculptor, Yuri Kirillovich Rednik, lived and worked. He was a prominent sculptor miniaturist. In his life, his miniatures were exhibited for two years in the Tretikov Gallery. It seemed to me, I am a psychologist who can make such miniatures that convey the inner life of man. How did the sculptor know such intricacies as we know? He taught me and everyone laughed because my items were insignificant. Maybe this is the correct word. They are, you know, like a coin, as a miniature, flat, meaningless. He spoke mysterious things to me. When you see the back of his head in his work, and today I went beyond my teacher in his work. I had done the same thing in my work, and the back of the head was visible, and I did it in stone. This technology is so complicated that it is very hard to describe, explain. But I have a little show. The first thing I do, I sculpt it in wax. This is one of the best works, this Patriarch Diodor. And then, this work is in stone. The method differs from the highest of his recent achievements in the field of processing solids, such as ultrasound and laser technology, which are not able to convey more accurately the details of the image. Lawler has been negotiating with Victor Petrick about the possibility of his works on precious stones in his exposition. Now, attention! Victor Petrick does not simply make portraits on gems. Many of the stones he himself cultivates. Traditionally, rubies are grown in the non-container method, the Vernalea method. So here is this thing growing in the air. It doesn't come into contact with anything. This is the traditional Vernalea method ruby. There is only one type, a pencil, which incidentally burst in half. There is always a crack. To grow a large ruby is the highest technological challenge. This one was cultivated in this machine. This mystery, which is carried out in the ground at the highest vacuum, in high temperatures, and a stone is cultivated. This little traditional boat is for the traditional Bagdasarov method. Here, priming powder of a real stone is put in. And then after it melts, and the corresponding decomposition of the stone crystallizes under the given structure to it. So, this ruby, here reminds us completely of the body of a boat. It is grown in the molybdenum form, and yet it is an ideal structure, a perfectly clean stone. This is a remarkable achievement. The founder of crystallography in our country is the great expert Dr. Musatov. When I said that I have grown the stone in molybdenum boats, he said that I will come to you to work as a laboratory assistant. I will respect him forever, so I didn't take it to the laboratory assistant, but it underscores the difficulty of the task. Work has already been done from this ruby. 
уже вот эта работа. Я когда решаю. When I solve an issue about technology, I have a feeling that I am swimming in a state of happiness. Что я плаваю в состоянии счастья. Literally bathing. This is the highest joy. The creative solution is the highest joy. It is beautiful. Она прекрасна. But in a few days, everything could be different. Because I return to Earth again. Because again, it is necessary to work. Viktor Petrik, scholar of the Russian Academy of Natural Sciences. Scholar of the Peter Academy of Sciences and Arts. Scholar of the Academy of Problems of Security and Defense. Scholar of the International Academy of Science, Environment, Security, Human and Nature. Scholar of the International Slavic Academy of Sciences and Arts. Scholar of the Academy of Science and Technology, Professor, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Science, Founder of Four New Discoveries.